Welcome to the Devil May Cry Peak of Combat PvP Guide. This is for the closed beta test of March 24th, 2023. As future releases may have some discrepancies due to bug fixes and different changes, please be advised. You can play with characters you have not pulled from the gacha in practice mode for PvP, which also clears daily missions for EXP and gacha currency. If you wish to also test out how the characters feel, you can go to Gameplay, Events, Event and Purgatory to test every single one of those gacha characters for free. All of them are max level with traits fully maxed out. Make sure to really take advantage of the purgatory mode. And you can also look at their entire full moveset at gallery and character before you try them. That being said, from this 2.0 closed beta test, it appears that every PvP period has its own rotation regarding what characters we can use. All PvE, gacha related character traits are turned off, and every character are given two universal standardized PvP traits for options you can select for different tactics and strategy before entering battle. In PvP mode, aside from no jump cancelling, there are other conditions, such as a new gauge underneath your health bar that is your character switch meter, similar to a stun gauge. As long as you have some of this gauge left, you can character switch to counter out of mid combos and deliver payback. Using a character switch does not expand this gauge, only getting hit in combos reduces this. Once you run out of gauge, it will turn grey and you will be susceptible to stun locked by longer combo chains as it regenerates at when you get hit. Make sure to avoid being combo locked at all costs. Keep an eye on when you want to get hit from afar to dodge which also regenerates the grey character gauge into the yellow one so you can start going back on the offensive and counter switch mid combos. Before we get into strategy, we have to make some notes regarding rules of PvP. 1. Every character has counters. Ranged characters like Spark Igniter Lady can seemingly harass you for free in the sky and the air, but you can knock them down with Arsenal Lady's charge shot, then dodge attack to charge into them into a long juggle chain. You can warp to them with Fists of Salvation Dante, Legendary Ronin Virgil, and even get to them with DT's Super Armor on the epic tier Devil Hunter Dante. Not to mention, the beginning Arsenal Lady is a hard counter against Spark Igniter Lady if used properly as later explained in the strategy. 2. If you have character switch meter, you can counter after being juggled for around 3-4 to four seconds. Activating the counter switch when the character bubbles are yellow will give you super armor, whereas a normal switch will not. When you run out of meter, you can be comboed with pseudo infinites by at least 3 characters on the ground, which is Fist of Salvation Dante, Count Thunder Virgil, and Devil Hunter Dante. This also applies in the air with both ladies, and legendary Ronin Virgil is particularly deadly if an enemy managed to air trick you and aerial raid B, J cut combo reset you, or even just reset you with storm swords and just waiting before the final hit of aerial raid B. 3. Certain moves have iframes at varying length. Similar to the concept of neutral and fighting game, you have to adjust your tactics in real time with your planned strategy. Therefore, it is extremely unwise to use supers first, such as JCN, due to the hitbox being exposed first, whereas if your opponent J Judgment Cut ends after, you cannot dodge in time as your iframes are expended and you will take the blow. For Spark Igniter Lady, her grenades only give iframes for a short amount of time, so it is best to activate it for iframe safety after you see Legendary Ronin Virgil start to sheaf your motto after J Cut end. 4. You must be extremely careful when using your character gauge when it's low, because you want to lose meter from yellow to grey regeneration, 
as you only regain meter by doing actions and getting hits, but in a safe situation and environment where you can start regenerating without being comboed by pseudo infinite. The reason this is the case is because pseudo infants can delete the minimum half your health on both ground and air, as certain combos and how they work in terms of character switch in this 2.0 closed beta test. And this has been brought to the attention of the developers. For now, the best way to make sure you do not get caught is to try not to stay too high in the air so it's easier to drop and land in an invulnerable recovery state, and stay away from the enemy at all costs when you are low on meter. Let them use their long distance skills and take stun damage so you can start regenerating grey character switch meter from afar and with safe. Now that the most important tips and rules are out of the way, let's discuss strategy. You need at least one character with a strong traversal skill, which can be either Fist of Salvation Dante, for the air hike, double jump, Sky Star, air dodge, or air trick, which is a teleport, Legendary Ronin Virgil, also air trick, which is the teleport, dodge, which is trick dodge in the air and even trick down, Arsenal Lady has a dive kick style attack, and also a charge attack which goes into a launcher to chase down enemies from afar. Nero is also a great counter character, especially because of his charge shot and his nature of just dodge and attacking for streak for both on the ground and in the air, which is a wonderful 1.0 addition in terms of the combat, combat and combo gameplay. But he's only really strong if you pair him with a full fire element team because of the QTE status effect nature of the game. There is also a lot of talk about how Spark Igniter Lady can seemingly able to harass you endlessly from the bar and in the sky, but you can counter her very easily with these four characters that I just mentioned. Arsenal Lady, Fist of Salvation Dante, Knight of the Order Sword Nero, and Legendary Rome. One extremely helpful tip I can give you is that similar to Ed Gambling, you never know what's going to happen in a fight. Always thinking about what can give you even the slightest edge of advantage is important to always keep in mind. Very basic concept, like making mental notes of how many times the opponent has character switched and how long each character has switched and what is on cooldown can be akin to a extremely simplified form of card count, which is why I recommend to try and record your fight, not only to see what you did wrong, but what you did right, and get into the habit of building that mental recognition for advantage states between everything, from character actions, to certain sequences of attacks, from jumping and baiting enemies into counter combos. For example, your starting character being either Ladies, Legendary Ronin Virgil, or Knight of the Orders Nero can greatly give you a huge advantage because their skills are projectiles charged at the beginning of the match, compared to either Dante's where you need to be closer to land the hit. It is this distinction of mental recognition of advantage states and strategy that would separate the great from the best players of PvP. For example, you have two players are using Spark Igniter Lady to harass each other from afar. Who will win? Let's recognize the different situations first. If both are on the ground, there is a 4 move combo where the last move ends in a 1.5 second recovery. If one is in the air, even though it is only a 3 move combo, there is only a quarter of a second of recovery, therefore the one in the air will win assuming only attack is being test. Why? Because over a longer period of time, that small advantage will snowball as every sequence of combos both players engage in this situation, the Spark Igniter Lady in the air will win. Therefore, if you are in the losing situation of this, make sure to get out of the situation, but then which option do we use to gain that advantage in our favor? You could use the Meteor Bomb skill and then try to dodge and see if they will be hit by it instead. You can character switch to Fist of Salvation Dante or Legendary Roman Virgil to pretty close the gap in with their air tricks and attacks. Spark Igniter is extremely weak to melee. This is also why Knight of the Order, Nero, Charge Shot is quite good for countering a defensive play for knocking her out of the air. Of light, righteous calls and
Judge midnight Feel the sorrow the light has swallowed